A Prayer to Recognize the Holy Spirit by Meg Booker, read by Leah Martin. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him, because it neither sees him or knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. John 14, 16 through 17. The old church van clunked through several neighborhoods as dusk descended upon inner city streets. The doors creaked open and the smell of gym class lingered in the air as the after-school bunch gathered around game boards. Laughter filled the air as we took turns rolling dice and flipping over cards and once again the power of the Holy Spirit united a gymnasium of strangers. When we humble ourselves to serve others, as we follow the example of Christ, the Holy Spirit supplies the strength and understanding we need to love the people God's placed in our lives. John was Jesus' earthly best friend. As we read John's inspired words today, we can only imagine the openness he possessed to allow the Spirit to fill him in Jesus' absence. When we miss our people, we want to be close to them again. When they're taken from us, there's an emptiness left in place of the part they used to fill in our hearts. John certainly felt that way in Jesus' physical absence. But just like he was for John, the Holy Spirit is here to fill us with his presence. Let's continue to pray for God to teach us more about the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Father, glory to you in the highest, the one true triune God. Today, Father, we pray for heightened awareness to recognize the Holy Spirit's activity in our lives. Let us have hearts willing and ready to serve the people you place in our lives, trusting through the Spirit we'll have all we need to complete the tasks you assign to us. By serving others, we're able to experience more of you. It's what we're meant to do to bring glory and honor to you through our lives. May every day we live on this earth point others toward our home in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice you so willingly gave of your life on the cross and for leaving the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, to live and dwell in and among us until you return. Help us to understand who the Holy Spirit is, the third person in your Trinity. Soften our hearts and open the ears of our minds to listen and recognize the ways in which he nudges us daily. Help us to hear his counsel and remember to cry out when we need you. Even in moments when we're falling apart and can't string words together to pray, the Holy Spirit translates our cries and our mumblings to you, Father in heaven. Thank you for the way you so completely love us, God. Father, we know the Holy Spirit is powerful. If there's more of you available to us in this life, we want it. Allow us to see, hear, and know you in the most complete way we're able to on this earth. Let our hearts be sensitive to recognize the movement and the reminders of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.